Hi, it's Neva with Bigger Pockets, and today I'm gonna share with you what my typical day is like on the real estate agent side of my business. The first thing I do is I focus a lot on the numbers and goals that I want to hit. And that basically determines my entire day, how my activities will break out. It's the same thing that I would recommend to you. So for me, um, the goal that I try to hit, one to two appointments a week with a homeowner that is going through pre-foreclosure. What I count as an appointment, sometimes it ends up being over the phone because we don't have enough time. But as long as I actually meet with them, go over all the details for their house, their options and things like that I count it as an appointment whether it's face-to-face -face or just over the phone so I try to get at least one to two appointments a week and then usually on average between if I get one to two appointments about 50% of people that I meet with will sign and do business with me so those are my numbers so the reason why I say to focus on the numbers first is there's another agent here um, he focuses on pre foreclosures as well in my area and when I met with him and we were talking about business in our day his goal is one listing a week he lead generates until he gets to one listing a week so that's why I mean you really have to set your goal first to then determine what your week is gonna look like because until he actually gets that signed listing he's gonna cold call he's gonna door knock he texts his people he does every single thing that he can do till he gets to that one listing he does more business than me which is why I reached out to him to see like hey what are you doing he does way more business than me makes more money than me and so that's why I'm saying you have to set your numbers goals so that you can be on track and really figure out what you need to do for the day. Once I know my numbers is I reach out to people, any type of contact information that I can find. Then my day is spent, I'm cold calling if I have the number, I'm driving to the house if I have the address, I'm texting, um, there's ways that you can get people's phone numbers, I'm emailing, um, I'm trying to find people on Facebook, Instagram, any type of social media, anything I can do, I'm Googling them, online i'm doing people searches i'm trying to get in contact with them sometimes i buy searches if i can't get a contact information because a lot of times in my niche a brief foreclosure sometimes people have already left the house so then i have to reach out to like a family member or a friend to maybe give them a letter and say hey i'm just stopping by can you give this to so and so things like that so i do that all of that for me, I let it fall under lead generation. And that's basically me trying to reach out and make that contact. So that's why I'm saying I'll keep doing that until I can at least have one to two appointments. And so sometimes I have to, you know, reach out to 50 people, 90 people before I actually get an appointment. So that's how my week and my day goes. I just keep doing that until I have at least one to two appointments. I have to service my current clients. So my current clients, because I do pre foreclosures a lot of times, I am giving them constant updates, where we are with the bank, will I be able to help them stop the auction, what their options are, how much money, because a lot of times, even though I do pre-foreclosures, a lot of my clients initially are hoping and praying that they can keep their house. So usually I am telling them, can they, how much, how much money do they need to come up with to keep the house, to stop the auction, and then if they cannot, that's when I'm like, look, you need to sell, and that's when I can start them down that path of me being their real estate agent and helping them through the process of selling and avoiding having a uh, foreclosure on their record and things like that. With that, I am sending an email with an update. Sometimes I'm sending a text with an update. Really depends on the client, they'll let me know. So Sometimes, you know, they're like, I'm not gonna have my cell phone at work, so email me, or some people will say, oh, I don't check my email, so please text me as soon as you get an update. So that's how my day goes there. I'll just block off like an hour and, or two, and it's my time to make sure that I go and update everyone on the status of their property. So on the real estate agent side, I would say like 80% of my business is listings, right? I'm just selling property, selling property, selling property. However, I do get return clients, which is like I have one now originally I met them I helped them stop a uh, foreclosure and they did a short sale at the time they were using a VA loan and so we went through the short sale process well now it's been about two two and a half years and they're eligible now to um, use their VA loan again and get housed so now there's like repeat business of me helping them going through the home buying process so like I said this is probably maybe like 20% of my business because these are people 
you know, they've fixed their credit, their financial situation has gotten better and they're ready to buy again, they'll reach back out to me and say, hey, you know, we wanna buy. We know you focus on foreclosures, but you know, can you help us, you know, look for a house to buy and things like that. I do like that because that's, you know, fun. It's nice like to, these are people that are in a good financial place. So it's a good, um, like different, uh, a good different space for me to be in sometimes as opposed to like I said 80% of my people are going through financial distress and things like that so it's nice to meet with people on the other side and say hey two years ago things were bad but now hey things are better doing that I'm helping them through their loan process through I'm um, looking for houses how much should they spend sometimes even now I'll refer them to financial advisor just to get some help they're getting back on their feet usually I would have already uh, my clients once once we actually end stopping of the foreclosure or they do a short sale or whatever I usually refer them to a credit repair person usually I'm meeting with that person as well and seeing like what is the best um, loans and credit scores and things that they can get that they can do is there anything else they can do to make their score better to get a better loan things like that like I said it really depends on the niche of this business that you pick and the numbers you're trying to hit how much money you're trying to make all that goes into determining what your typical day is gonna look like. And then after I do all that, I need to make time for my husband and my kids. So they're not running around, maybe making dinner, picking up kids, helping with homework. It's a very rewarding career. If it's something that you really wanna do, I definitely would encourage you to get out there and do it. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. So take care and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.